Number six, Skiffo, who goes forward to avoid the challenge of defenders and then score from long range. A crucial goal that for Anderlecht after only 18 minutes. But when it's seen for the second time, you might feel that the Forest keeper, Van Brukelen, was perhaps unsighted by the defender in front of him, Viv Anderson. Forest's Dutch goalkeeper, Van Brukelen, had a great match tonight, keeping his team alive under almost endless pressure. And this save in the second half, coming up now, was typical of many. A couple of minutes later, Forrest were guilty of another error in defence, which should have been punished with a goal. Once again, Ian Boyer perhaps guilty, under pressure. A bad back pass, intercepted by number four, Chiniatinsky, whose shot was cleared off the line by Kenny Swain. And eventually, Forrest get themselves sorted out. Anderlecht were always on top, but their second goal came from a very debatable penalty. Just watch as the ball is picked up here by number 11, Briel, and then he's allegedly fouled by Kenny Swain as he goes into the penalty area. The referee right on the spot had no hesitation in giving the penalty. Forrest very annoyed, a lot of protests. Indeed, the goalkeeper Van Brukelen was booked for his protest, which seemed to be applauding the referee's decision. And watch closely for the second time. It does certainly appear that Swain doesn't touch his man. However, the penalty stood, and that man, number 11, Briel, scored from the spot. So that made the score 2-2 on aggregate. And Brooklyn going the wrong way. With extra time looming in this match, only minutes left to play, Anderlecht suddenly produced a marvellous winning goal. The ball from Van der Leiken, taken on the chest of Van den Berg, who puts it into the forest net. Van den Berg, the player that everybody applauds and go to celebrate, but when you see it for the second time, it's a marvellous pass from number seven, Van der Leiken, which sets up the chance. So, defeat for Nottingham Forest, and elect the holders qualify then for the two-legged final in May, winning 3-2 on aggregate and we'll have highlights for you of Tottenham against Hadjuk split in a few moments.